it's my my dear friend, my bottle. Uh, this is a number of plants living together, some soil, some water, but uh, it is also very much more. It's a small uh, ecosystem or a small biosphere uh, separated from planet Earth. And it lives its own life in this bottle. And uh, this bottle has been closed for 17 years. 17 years. You could say that we live in a bottle because our biosphere is equally closed as this bottle. And the only thing that comes inside is the solar radiation. It goes through the biosphere or through the glass and enters the bottle. And this solar energy can make the system uh, thrive. How does it, how does it work? Uh, how can the plants stay alive inside here? And are there other organisms also together with the plants? And how do they communicate with each other? In one way you could say the conditions are quite simple. Yeah. The partners inside here, the plants, the bacteria, the fungi, they try to stay alive, but they do it in such a smart way that they also contribute to the whole. And as a reward for that contribution, they will also be supported by the whole. So uh, this is the simple rule for a system, how the parts work together in such a way that uh, they can sustain each other. For a small plant, how can it understand this relationship? Or for a small cell in my body, how can it understand that it is part of something bigger? and has to act according to that. So there are many ways to connect to the system, to understand that you are part of something bigger. If you understand the relationships here, then it's also easier to understand our relationships within planet Earth and also uh, the ecosystem services that are provided by the biosphere. The first thing you see, of course, are all these plants. And uh, as you know, when plants grow, they use CO2, carbon dioxide, and they grab it from the atmosphere and build it into their leaves. If there were only plants inside, the, the plants would take up all the CO2 and then they couldn't grow anymore. So they need a partner. And the partner for the plants is the ideal partner for the plant is of course someone who lives at the opposite way of plants for instance bacteria or uh, animals of different sizes and kinds so uh, there are of course a lot of bacteria and other uh, small organisms inside here that provide the plant with carbon dioxide with co2 and as a gift back Plants provide these organisms with oxygen. So they have a very fruitful relationship. They help each other. And in that way, they create the fundamentals for a sustainable life, where they help each other to circulate the vital elements that are needed for life. So this balance between CO2 and oxygen is one of these circulations. Then you have the circulation of water. You can see it start to, it's starting to rain here because it's getting warm, heated from the sun. There will be clouds here and the rain will fall down or pour down along the glass and it will circulate. And the same uh, thing happens with the minerals in this bottle. There are minerals in the soil here. They are taken up by the plants and after a while these, the leaves will die and the bacteria will will uh, decompose the leaves again into minerals. So with these organisms at hand, 
you can create a system that can live forever. The resources are there by reusing them, recycling them. You can stay alive internally inside here. Only with the supply of solar energy from outside. Of course, there are some limits or uh, planetary boundaries for such a system, but also for our bigger biosphere. If uh, I would leave it in the sun without protection, it would probably get overheated and the plants would die. Ecosystems have tipping points. If you stress a system too much, it can tip into a new type of system that uh, still is alive, but where most of the big plants maybe die and you have bacteria and fungi taking over. If you push them too hard, then they will uh, disintegrate. And that, of course, also is true with our planet, our biosphere.